Well, I just had to untangle a string of wound fairy lights with the help of a headlamp. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't have camping in a U-Haul van on my 2021 bingo card, um, but it is pretty incredible. So I am parked beside a glacier, a waterfall, and a van that is painted to match this, van this starry night and the other starry night. And so I decided it was a sign and I needed to have the Van Goghs hang out together after having listened to Letters to Theo, which is a biography of Vincent Van Gogh as told through letters to his brother. Um, so it's been a very Van Gogh day over here. <laughs> um, but I drove almost five hours to Valdez. I am at Blueberry Lake and Thompson Pass. So there are like seven glaciers right here and dozens of waterfalls and it is one of the prettiest drives I have ever done and it's really foggy and rainy and it was almost dark so I decided I wanted to stay here instead of getting all the way to Valdez so that when I wake up in the morning I can do Thompson Pass again hopefully without all of this moisture in the air um this is amazing. It's totally outside my comfort zone. I 100% have a hook by the bed with the keys and mace and the bear spray by the door. Um, I have everything organized in an over the door shoe organizer. So you've got like cleaning supplies and um, first aid and my toiletries. Those wipes are now my shower. I've got spare shoes and backpacks here. You've got lots of water, the luggable loo, my clothes. I find it hilarious that I have two Kate Spade bags out camping. Um, then you've got all the like kitchen stuff, camp chairs, camp table, all that stuff is all hanging out here. The homeowners hooked me up with a really comfy bed that folds into a couch so I can be blogging and writing from this couch slash bed. Um, I should be plenty warm. It's, I think it's like a low of 45, 50 tonight. Um, it's dark so I might not even need this sleep mask. I'm hoping to sleep until I wake up naturally. Um, but yeah, I started off a little slow today. I'm about two hours behind what I expected to do today. Um, but I had a wonderful time. It was unbelievably gorgeous, this drive. Everybody says it's a beautiful drive and you need to do it. Even if you don't really do anything in Valdez, it's worth the drive. And since I lost a day, um, I'm not going to be able to take kayaks out into the water, but they say the water is pretty choppy. I'm not a very strong kayaker and it's really crappy weather. So I think it's going to work out okay that I lost that day and hopefully everything else works out. I am pumped about my revamped plan. Um, I inverted the back end of the trip, but it should still be fantastic. I rode beside a mother-daughter duo on the ride from Denali to Anchorage yesterday, and they filled my milepost guide full of suggestions. So I know all the places that I should go. They gave me like turnoffs and specific mileage for amazing things to do since they're Alaska natives. And I am so thrilled and excited to have this opportunity. The homeowners on both sits have been so supportive and incredible. They're just like messages. If you need anything, if you need any suggestions, if you get stuck, we'll find people that can help you. Like they are just amazing. So I know that, you know, bartering services to pet and house sit my way around the country, it's not a paid job. But the rewards pay off in insane dividends. I have made the most fantastic connections with people I hope to keep in my life forever. Um, being a part of their family by taking care of their, their dogs makes them a part of my family. Like, I love them all so much. I would do anything to help them out. Um, everybody has just been beyond incredible and they give me so much hope and my heart is so full and even though this is nothing how I anticipated 2021 um, it surpasses all of my expectations and I'm thrilled to be here doing this and hopefully me telling you about it makes you encouraged to get out there and get outside your comfort zone too because camping is not my thing and <laughs> neither is flying by the seat of my pants and not having everything completely ironed out. If this were any other time in my life I would have my I still have a google sheet for this don't get me wrong <laughs> but it would have 
everything ironed out, all the mileage. I would know exactly where I was staying, all of my accommodations, everything. This whole, oh, that looks like a good place to sleep. Let's pull over here situation. I would have thought you were nuts if I told you that's what was going to happen. But that's what you do in Alaska, and I'm having a fantastic time. So I think it's awesome to be able to do things like this by myself because I don't have to answer to anyone and if it looks cool to me I don't have to feel bad if I pull off at every scenic overlook um, I listen to the music that I want to it's it's great I have no issue with it and I felt really appreciative about my spoiled spinster status yesterday on the train watching these families because the parents were trying to enjoy themselves and the kids were all being so miserable the teens were like this is boring why do we have to do this a flight so much faster um, it's just dirty water like so what it's an animal I don't care and the little kids were running around screaming and I was just like good lord it's $250 a ticket to take this train, but it's like a $45 an hour flight to get there. So you could take the plane and just be done with it with all these kids and everybody works so hard to give kids these amazing experiences and they don't appreciate it. And it just made me really grateful that I get to give it my 100% attention and really take it in and just... I wish that everybody got to do things like this, but I really wish that kids could understand how much it takes for parents to pl planning a trip to Alaska is no joke. It's really hard to do. And so I just looked around and it was all families and none of those kids looked like they were having fun and I was having the time of my life. So Spoiled Spinster is pretty happy with the road that got her here. I am just can't wait for day two seriously I am so excited I can't believe that this is happening I feel like I've already lived multiple lives in this six-month adventure and that this is just this is the third leg of an insane insane action-packed couple of weeks in Alaska like I can say I lived in Alaska for five weeks and that is not something I ever saw coming but something I can't wait to enjoy and take you with me